Você não viu errado o gameplay de Hogwarts Legacy, mano. Os 5, 40 minutinhos de gameplay. Tem muita coisa pra gente ver. Então já relaxa. Se você ainda não pegou, vai lá pegar uma pipoquinha, um suquinho, um refri, uma aguinha. E vem comigo que a gente vai ver. Começa na criação de personagem. Vai ter, é, pelo que eu vi, já tem exploração de, de dormitórios. Vai ter combate. Eu dei uns, uns pulinhos e vi. Mano, muita coisa legal pra gente ver. O vídeo está legendado em português, não tem, é, o, aliás, o áudio é em inglês, uh, mas a gente vai comentando as nossas impressões aqui, óbvio que eu vou deixar o som, porque tem o som do jogo também, uh, então eu acho que de maneira geral vai ser, mano, anim... mano vai ser animal, é, eu tô muito empolgado pra esse jogo e vai ser legal, mas dessa vez a gente assiste juntos 40 minutos de gameplay aí. Como eu falei, começa na criação de personagens e tem mais um montão de coisa é, pra gente assistir juntos, certo? Então relaxa aí e vamos pra cima <risos> de mais essa game. Ih, caraca, esse jogo vai ser muito bom, mano. E aí vocês viram ali, né? Começou já com um preset, né? De personagem clássico. E aí depois você faz detalhes, né? Formato do rosto, ó. Because we knew a lot of people going right in are going to want it right away. Even yeah. though it's an option later in the game, yeah. uh, you can collect different types of glasses, put them on later. Uh, we give you some options right up front. Ó, já dá óculos já, vocês viram? Já, já dá uns óculos para você já, já chegar daquele jeito já. With this, wow, you guys thought of every. I like that. I don't think my face is that skinny, but I think we'll go with that. I think we'll go. Será que dá para criar o Harry? Uh, and down here is Harry Potter. Those are your glasses this there. Gla yeah. Oh, so we started. We could we could go Harry Potter if we want. Off the <laughs> oh man! And this is just some of the options, I'm assuming. Yeah. Uh, so through the course of the game, there's a lot there's a lot of different uh, options that you'll keep unlocking. Okay. So as part of kind of like gear for the character, there's lots of different classes. There's even masks. There's all kinds. É aquilo. A única coisa onde esse jogo pode errar na minha humilde opinião, assim, eu acho que ele é um jogo que tem tudo para ser muito bom, tá? O único ponto que esse jogo pode errar é ele ser uma máquina de fazer dinheiro colecionável de Hogwarts, né? Nossa, olha os cabelos, que animal. Tipo assim, tudo você vender, tá ligado? Ah, não, olha, compra esse óculos, ah, compra essa roupa, compra esse, esse skin da coruja. Só isso pode dar uma estragada no jogo, chegando isso. Vai ser bem legal. E, like, you even adding the bounce with the hair moving around. Yo, that kind of looks like Hermione a little bit. <laughs> I'm not even gonna just like Fred. I'm not Fred. And we can just go. Can I go like Tox purple or green a little bit? Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> Yo. Nossa, muito bonitos cabelos, mano. Olha que da hora. Oh, I like that. That is cute. Sabe o que vai ser irado? Você ficar vendo a live de várias pessoas, assim, no segundo dia do lançamento, cada um fazendo uma coisa com um personagem diferente, numa casa diferente. <laughs> I wanted uh, silver tips, so that was the closest I got to any color, but... Oh my... Olha, que animal, velho. A textura do cabelo, mano. So you literally can bring yourself, like... It's, it's a myriad of textures and different hairstyles here. All right, so now you're getting over here to uh, play around with some of the... These are more subtle options. Okay. We've got freckles, moles, um, different... É, like sardinha, a, né? Complexion, like darker eyes. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. like some shading on the cheeks. É, são pintas, né? Cicatrizes, velho. Que da hora. Nossa, que irado, né, mano? Opa, desculpa, gente. Atualização do Photoshop. Pois é, irado pensar que literalmente isso aí, né, é, é um... É, é um oh, aí, tela. Tom da voz. Opa, você não escolhe sua casa. 
<laughs> but but you know, here's where you bring uh, you, you choose voice one or voice two, which is voice. more like masculine or a feminine voice, and then even within that, changing your pitch. Dificuldade. A pitch slider. It's a subtle slider, but yeah. but you can hear it. But ficou bravo até montar. Something. And so you can kind of make out the differences. But yeah, you choose which kind of voice that you want. Uh, you'll be selecting your difficulty here. For today, we'll just go normal because okay. Andrew's going to be uh, taking us through some of the experiences with combat. Ali, ó, feiticeira ou feiticeira. Aí tá assim, a escolha vai determinar o dormitório do seu personagem. É isso. Nossa, mas total liberdade de criação, né? Isso é bem legal também. Se você escolhe o tom da voz, aí você escolhe o, o, o pitch da voz, né? And then uh, whether you want to be witch or wizard. <laughs> Amazing. What do you think, character creator? We're good. I'm good. I let yo. Let's explore Hogwarts and let's get into some. All right. Through the magic of uh, using using a dev kit, we're gonna be loading up a, a save a little later in, um, so that we can. Dev kit, né? O que será legal? Give you that taste of combat. All right, Andrew's got some gameplay pulled up for us. Opa, here. aí já foi, hein? Starting out, James, there, there you are. You're wearing the house fanatic robes <laughs> uh, from the from the account linking. Thank you, thank you. I, I do look good. And this is our first look at the Hufflepuff common room, I'm assuming. I mean, the, dorm room. The dorm room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is awesome. But well, Alan, what are we what are we seeing right here with the UI? Because this is our first look. Yeah. So um, right now, we know there's been a lot of questions about uh, about about the HUD because this is the first time we're showing it. Ah, é a primeira vez que mostra a HUD. Pode pá. Pode pá. Diamantes de feitiços. Ali no canto direito, né? Os botões direcionais ficam no canto superior. No canto do, do diamante dá para ver. So, uh, the eyeball is an example of one of not a slottable spell, but what we call an essential spell. Um, there are certain spells that are used in very specific contexts or, um, or that we just want on the controller at all mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. And Revelo is one of those. That's okay. left on the D-pad. Revelo. On the right on the D-pad is that grid represents where you might slot spells. And so, okay. right now, today, we're not going to be going into the spell slotting menu because we feel like there's a lot of spoilers there, you know, like... <laughs> Deve ter, né? And what I, can we I do? would like spoilers, but I, I understand. <laughs> ah, é, um save bem adiantado. Ele falou que tem todos os feitiços, né? ...to share with everyone. Mm -hmm. And then uh, on the left side, that thing that has the L1 button next to it, uh -huh. that's another thing tá. where we don't want to spoil, but basically that's where you access your tool wheel. So there's a lot of magical tools that you're going to be uh, kind of brewing and growing over the course of the game. <laughs> Nossa, que da hora, caraca, tá. Access them rapidly is our tool wheel. Okay, cool. Um, there are a few things that I left off the table on the right, uh, the green bar. Tá, barra verde é vida, tem uma poção, right. beleza. The bar above it, we're keeping a secret for now. E a barra acima é segredo. Ah, mas aquilo ali é um especial, né? É um especial, certeza que é um especial. É uma barrinha dividida em dois, deve ser... Lembra até agora, a gente tá jogando God of War, lembra até a fúria do, do, do Kratos, né? A barrinha ela é dividida em vários. Daqui a pouco vai ter combate. Oh, detalhe, hein? Dormitório incrível, cara. E a coruja ali é a dele, né? A gente, aquele lixo cheio. Ah, e aquilo ali é o feijão, ó. Tem caixa do sapo, do feijão. <risos> Ah, ele lufa lufa, né? Só os palos na casa aí. We, we really tried making new... Só a galerinha do fogo que queima verde, filho. Quem entendeu, entendeu, né? Não, galerinha de lufa lufa, é nóis, hein? Chama. Caralho, fogo verde! <risos> e eu falei de fogo verde, foi a primeira coisa que apareceu ali. Desculpa, eu me empolguei, guys. Eu gritei. Aos passos, olha. Eu welcome you to your common room in every single house, just a little bit differently. Begin customizing that experience right away. Oh my god, that's so awesome. Look at that. Nossa, do caralho, hein, mano. So, I mean, beautiful design. I, I, we could spend like, Muito verde. the rest of the stream just in the common room here yeah. and talking about it. And I'm sure Boston and James could be like just <laughs> geeking out over it. Nossa, animal, animal, animal. All, all the details come from J.K. Rowling's writings for this common room. The round doors, the... 
hanging vines, even the dancing badgers on the <laughs> fireplace. It's kind of real earthy vines. Yeah. Right? Very, very earthy. Which is which is like elements for each of the houses, yeah. right? Hufflepuff like, is earth, Ravenclaw's air, Gryffindor is fire, and Slytherin is water. And we wow. really, really leaned into that for each common room. Ah, que legal. Caralho, eles deram elementos para as casas. Passageway, that's, that's what we were... Hopefully, yeah. it should feel very familiar. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. But I, I know you don't want to leave, but we're going to be leaving. No. Thank you. I understand. Whoa, the sound effects, though. Like, looking. Nossa, que da hora. Music, but kind of hearing how Hogwarts is now. It's so cool. It's tactile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Andrew's going to make use of one of our spells, Revelio. He is Revelio. Ah, o Revelio, ó. There's a little magic going on. You notice a little something there. Uh huh, claramente. Yeah. So, um. These are something that... Peraí, peraí, eu vou ter que pausar. Para entrar em, Huffle, em Lufa Lufa, na sala comunal de Lufa Lufa, é, você deve bater no barril The Barrel True from the Bottle, no 2 de baixo, para o meio, na segunda fileira, no ritmo de Helga Hufflepuff. Um toque errante vai resultar em ter o acesso negado. Ah, tá. Que legal. Que legal, que legal, que legal. Yeah. You see that we got some XP for it. And you can also see that we've advanced something called like a field guide challenge up in the corner. Ah, field guide, que legal. Let's talk about that a little bit. So we had to ask ourselves, what? Continue, I'm sorry. Eu entendo, mano. Ele tava muito feliz. But uh, in our game, we had to answer the question, you know, we're a late fifth year. What does that mean? How do we catch up to the other students? Okay, okay. And so we have an answer to that question and and it's given to you by the staff. So there's something that we call the Wizards Field Guide that's granted to you early on in the game. And the Wizards Field Guide is how how you actually work on catching up with the other students. So Andrew, if you hit pause for me up here before we push forward a little bit, you can see in our pause menu, it's got this book theme. Nossa, que lindo, que menu lindo. You can see your house kind of crest right, overlaid yeah. over. Tá, esse é o guia de campo, tá. So that the field guide has this magical property of looking out into the world around you. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it's on loan from the Ministry of Magic and the professors so have cool. granted it to you as a late fifth year student is because they want it to help you catch up to the other kids mm -hmm. and it's magical property. Ah, é porque a gente entra mais velho, né? Pode pá. To learn and grow all around you. So the way it works is as you discover gameplay in the game, it actually recognizes that as a challenge, which is kind of locked into there. Okay. And Andrew, if you go in there, you'll see different types of challenges that are combat challenges, wow. quest challenges, exploration challenges. Tá. And you can see field guide pages are on there as yeah, well. Yeah, so, 1%. We, uh, yeah. We <laughs> Lá em cima já dá pra ver, ó. Lá em cima tem... É, eles provavelmente vão passar por tudo, mas equipamento, inventário, talentos, coleções, challenges, né? Desafios que eles que estão usando. Mapa, objetivos, posto da coruja. O posto da coruja é o jeito que o jogo vai manter contato com a gente. Tipo assim, ah, evento, ah... É, depósito, enfim, e configurações. Desculpa, precisa pausar só para aquela barra lá de cima. O livro se encontra em escola e se encontra em escola e se encontra em diferentes tipos de desafios e tipos de coisas para fazer ao longo da escola que você vai interagir com para ajudar você a crescer como um wizard e praticar os seus desafios. Então, a coisa que nós apenas vimos não é apenas um desafio de challenge no way to earn yeah. XP, é também algo que os jogadores podem usar para aprender sobre a escola que eles estão trabalhando ao redor. Eles spot these little secret facts and they can kind of spotam esses pequenos segredos e eles podem, kind of Play a little bit of a game, discovering all of Caralho, é assim, né? É, é muito legal que eles estão dando toda uma temática, né? Tudo, é, é muito irado. Mas a gente sabe mais do jogo bem como isso funciona, né? Citando o God of War que a gente tá jogando aqui recentemente, é o livrinho do Kratos, né? Nossa, que da hora! How much fun was it designing those and putting all oh, those in gorgeous. there? Nossa, que lindo, caraca. They're just like in the book. Yes. Right it's next to the Great lore. Hall. It's a nod yeah. to lore. House points is not a core mechanic or system in the game. Yeah, we, mm. we didn't turn it into like a, a gameplay system, but it's definitely present throughout our narrative. And and there are lots of choices where we want to nod to things that aren't don't aren't necessarily gameplay systems, but yeah. but we nod to them as as part of the narrative. Ah, right. check it out, mechanic. I was teasing. That's the uh, Great oh, Hall over yeah. through those doors. Again, we're not going there. We're he's just kind of like, <laughs> ah, ah. No. Cool, cool. Aquela página ali. Que isso? Uh, here's another collectible page. You know, just again showing you like just these things around Hogwarts <laughs> that you can oh, do man. and pick up and. 
That's a shot straight from the trailer, too. <laughs> that part right there. I, I recognize that. We might be giving you a little fan service here with uh, with callbacks to those. So, um, and, and this must be summertime, because I notice these are the summertime windows. These windows will change with the season. Ah, que da hora! Vai mudar as janelas. I get surprised by it all the time. <laughs> That's a sentient that the magic thing. castle. So. <laughs> oh, man. And we're going out. Look at that. Nossa, sabe que vibe tá passando o Red Dead 2, não tá? Chill out, play, meet each other outside the Great Hall, before and after meals. Não tá com uma vibe meio Red Dead? Caralho, eu amo, né? Next to uh that it interconnects outside, inside. There there are pathways on both sides of things, so you really get a sense of scope to to how big this castle is. And when you see things like you you'll notice a bridge over there, that's a place you can go to and cross. Like everything is everything that you see is a place that you can visit. Wow. Oh, pessoal, foi. We put a lot of effort into making it feel really alive, um, not just with student population, but even just the greenery and stuff. It's Scotland. Yeah. And this castle's been here for hundreds of years, so just kind of <laughs> the moss yeah. and all the trees that have overgrown it. And oh my gosh. That landscape, that this Scottish. This location might look a little familiar to you. Um, I thought I recognized it. I believe this is from the spring ASMR. And yes, so that puzzle right there, that view, uh, Andrew is taking us right back to I'm that. I'm going to tell Andrew not to interact <laughs> with that puzzle and to keep moving on. Ah, I can't we can't spoil everything. We can't give you everything, right? Hogwarts so. contains a lot of secrets. <laughs> oh, my um, God. Nossa, this, animal, hein, man. This, this grand entryway right here coming down into uh, a really kind of central area. Yeah, we're coming upon the central hall, and we pointed out the greenhouse outside, mm -hmm. and, and we'll notice when we get down there that it's on the right. This and is a big hub of the school. Like, it, it's a big castle, but um, it is designed so you shouldn't get very lost. This is kind of a grand central station. <laughs> I love that. that. I each love direction, that. you know, it's green over there, so the greenhouse is over there. Transfiguration court. And on the map, you can see it. Straight ahead, so it's kind of a the hub oh my of God. a lot of the castle. Even the color, visually, you can just tell, okay, green, oh, green greenhouse, that way. oh my God. Ah, que legal. Subconscious, but yeah. it, it'll help you really feel, learn the castle and mm -hmm. feel like you know your way around. <laughs> that's, that's not to say that it's easy to learn. All of us here still get pretty lost in it, <laughs> it on a daily a basis. It it's a, a castle. <laughs> it's a, Great point. Os caras se perdem na hora do... O Dev se perde no castelo. Uh, definitely teasing a lot of things here. I'm noticing he's swinging the camera this way and that. Is... <laughs> yeah. He's got this grin on his face over there. That's just like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm from doing. the reveal trailer. There's that dragon. Oh, my God. This is a mm. location where the students will gather, um, you know, and just kind of chill out. Nelly Ogspire. Need to uh, talk to somebody, get a, get a yeah. quest giver here. Is everything all right? Yes, I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. The Dedalian. have seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Que isso, que loucura. Eu vou olhar para isso, por que que você não procura? I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. So those kind of side quests are really, it's a cool way to interact you with to your cabinet? fellow students, with perhaps other teachers, with, you know, very... Nossa, olha aquele cara ali atrás like dele, que bonito. Well, as teach you some more of the secrets of Hogwarts, I think. There's, there's <laughs> a little case, bit of that. In this case, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So it, the students are a way to kind of like flesh out the school, opportunities around it, what, what we can do. And then those interactions, uh, different interactions with different characters uh, can also offer different choice points for the player. And then some of those things uh, can can affect things game wide some of these affect characters lives uh, Ah, olha o GPS ele já aparecer na rota que tem que seguir tudo mais Sometimes it's just about you being a little sometimes bit of a nice about guy the or just being a jerk <laughs> Yes, absolutely So sure. the scale really varies but but uh but those opportunities exist for the player Wow, look at this Nossa, animal, né, velho? Animal, toda a ambientação é muito boa 
Power. Power, which uh, th this is one of my favorite locations in in the castle. Just visually, you come in here and. Just, Olha, mais quest. Nossa, muita quest, yeah, irmão. Very unique to anywhere else in the castle. Somebody else that we can talk to, uh, notably a, a younger student. Yeah, um, she looks like a first year or an eleven year old. Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? Zenobia Noak. The girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. Oh, que dó. <laughs> Me desculpe por ouvir isso porque todo mundo te odeia. Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst. That no talent moon. Sem vergonha e sem talento. And so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Ah, por isso todo mundo odeia ela, fica fedendo as pessoas. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Hum. Eu teria feito a mesma coisa. Ela falou, ele falou, ele é bully. You caused the smelly situation and they responded accordingly. I didn't make the rules. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Eu não posso prometer alguma ideia de como alcançar elas, você não tem amigos? Ele vai só falar, né? I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake. As expressões faciais estão bem boas, né? A gente tem que pensar pela dimensão do jogo também. Claramente, é um jogo muito grande. You can go with that. You can like, you can feel for her. You can be a jerk to her. You can be like. É, eu vi ele foi meio babaca, né? Like you're just mean, like. Yeah, and your opportunity to be. E é um jogo muito grande, né? Então a gente também não pode ficar tão, né? Tipo assim, não. As expressões faciais, tipo assim, você não vai esperar um, um jogo que tem. 10, 12 personagens é, principais, né? E um jogo que tem claramente uns 200 personagens que você vai interagir, né? Então não dá pra esperar de personagem meio. Mesmo assim, tá muito boa, né? Bem básica, né? Mas você vê algumas expressões, olho, franz e sobrancelho, isso é bem legal. Like speak to us as fans, and that we want to turn into gameplay. And and there were calls that we had to make over the course of production of kind of like which things. Nossa, olha a iluminação, né? Nossa, muito bonito, velho. Wizards chess. Those are things that aren't featured. Aren't featured. They're featured within the world. I'm glad they're mentioned. They're a part of the wizarding world. Yeah. Every single time there was something that we 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 regretted because we couldn't include it. We also tried to figure out a way to make sure that it was included in the narrative, included in the stories. Make sure that there's a way to kind of like acknowledge it, touch it. You know, and, and make it feel like it's definitely part of the world. And I know here too. I, I, we're, I we're see like, your reaction. <laughs> I was like, we're in the fifth against the dark arts class. I recognize that staircase to the left where we were just at. Andrew was walking by. I also recognize the dragon at the very top. Oh my gosh. Being in a classroom, I think this is a good opportunity to talk about how classes work because we've gotten a lot of questions about mm. that. Is it a mm. schedule-based system? Is mm. it to, to tell us how classes work? Yeah, so um, ultimately we decided not to go the sim route. So I think like one of the speculations was, is there time of day? And you know, that kind of thing. Like, can I miss class at this yeah. time of day? There is kind of a day-night cycle. Yeah, yeah nah. there's a day-night cycle, but uh, but everything is very um, narrative-based. Yeah. So there's a big mystery going on in the world. There's something happening in the narrative, and we, and we essentially see it as kind of like chapters in that narrative, each chapter of which has a set of missions that you can choose between as you're progressing through the game, and classes fit within that structure. Mm -hmm. So there are mainline things that the players have to do, and then classes also appear on the sides as well as optional things that help you advance your spells. It's absolutely true that classes provide all of your major tools throughout the gameplay, your spells, your major abilities. You get to know the professors. Each one of them has these bespoke uh, kind of events yeah, and moments yeah, in those missions. Yeah. And then there are also additional opportunities outside of that through kind of like 
side classroom missions, essentially, where you can learn additional spells or things that you need in your adventure and also get to know the professors better. And but, I just want to call out something that, that Andrew's been kind of showing off, uh, ways to kind of interact with the environment and just, just uh, engage with the world. And, you know, maybe down there he's sipping some tea yeah. with the... Uh, <laughs> <I saw that. laughs> Victorian high, so. you know. Yeah. Well, high society. High society. Yeah. Yeah. And it's no wonder you like this area, because we built it for, like, the pure bloods <laughs> and the Slytherins. Oh, and... come on. <laughs> <laughs> right, like, speaking of lived in, like, the sound effects again, the chatter of the communication is happening and the footsteps, like, it just makes it feel more alive. Little events like that, the brooms going <laughs> by overhead. I just saw a brooms go by. Cara, assim, é, é, né? Deu para entender assim que a, a, o, o principal do jogo é. One example, but um. Nossa, eu errei a luz da. Hallway should look the same in Hogwarts. It's a. It has a lot of personality every hallway. Agora tá mais correta a luz. Mostly to help. É. Right, right. O jogo vai correr ao redor da narrativa principal, né, da main quest line e aulas, interações, side quests são coisas secundárias que você faz entre uma missão e outra. Personality, I like that because yeah, it, it gives, it does. Like Hogwarts has character. Hogwarts is its own character, no matter where you go. Yeah. Nossa, que da hora. Yeah. Mas o negócio é sobre a ambientação, né? Então, é menos aquela ideia de mundo aberto que a gente tinha, né? É, é, é. Mr. Magic himself. I think you're full today, Scott. You know, we talked about building on lore too. I know there's that statue over to the side. Oh, yeah. That's Do You know who that is? Lachlan the Lanky, yeah. and he's yeah. got his, his bow truckle friend and <laughs> and I think if players don't know, there's another Well, Revelio page there. Yeah, yeah. there's a map of Argyleshire. We know the fat lady hides there. Hides behind it. That's right. <laughs> the third, third book. But sometimes <laughs> the, a hallway has personality by how it looks. Or we just passed a music hallway where the portraits have kind of taken it over. And um, so the sound makes it really unique. All right, I gotta call this out here. I know there's been some criticism in the past that uh, our trailers and our gameplay and what we've shown so far has not had enough owls, okay? <laughs> So here we are at the Owlry. Nossa, que irado. To show you all of the owls. It's a lot of owls. It's a lot of owls at the Owlry. I love all the, the owls. fog rolling down that Great way. callback. Great call. <laughs> no, I, also, I also love that as I, I, one of my favorite things about just kind of going around on the outside of the school is that all those things that I see are places that I can go to, mm. that I can visit. I just love that sense Ah, isso é do caralho mesmo, né? Tudo é acessável, né? <laughs> We're uh, kind of closing out our, our mini tour of Hogwarts, and again, that was a, it's but a fraction of... Nossa, mas claramente, claramente. Assim, de novo, né? É, acho que a gente tem a expectativa de ter um pouco mais liberdade, né? Acho que é, o sonho é um The Sims em Hogwarts, né? Mas, mas é a ideia de uma aventura, de combates interessantes, de narrativa, de história. Tem bastante coisa pra fazer, tem bastante coisa pra explorar. Eu acho que... Me parece, né? De novo, eu não sou um Potterhead, né? Não, não, não sei, mas... Mas, mano, me encanta. Eu sou apaixonado pelo universo, então é, é, me encanta saber que eu vou poder ter essa parte de imersão muito forte e vou ter uma história, né? Hum. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. And this is a really good opportunity to now jump into combat because really in the game okay. this is going to be uh, the first time where you yourself get to learn about combat and combos in a big way and in a new way. Uh, for me personally this was where the game like really starts to open up to the possibilities. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we've set up a we've set up a training dummy, and this is kind of an activity where you're supposed to execute according to kind of the iconography on the top. Now Uh, tá. the top is the Accio spell followed by four what we just kind of lovingly refer to as basic shots. Um, uh, <laughs> ah, tá. Spells that the wizards kind of like use just kind of fling. Andrew's using one now. And you trigger that by tapping R2 on your controller. So you mm -hmm. can see in the corner R2. So if you tap R2, that throws out a basic shot. But that R2 is also your gateway to all of the, the uh, spells that you might slot. So if you okay. hold R2 instead, You can see how the diamond Clássico, né? Segurou o R2, as habilidades se destacam. Aí ele vai apertar o X da magia e continuar combando com o R2. Expands and all the spells that you slotted while you're holding that button can now be tapped with your face buttons. Awesome. And not only that, Clássico, beleza. Over the course of the game, you can gain um, additional Nossa, quatro diamantes extras. Four additional ones so that you can slot up to 16 spells, you know, pretty much 
instantly, and then that helped us um, fulfill the fantasy of in combat, I need to be able to access things very rapidly. Você sabe que me segue, sabe que eu tô um pouco preocupado com combate, isso é interessante. You know, how to juggle not just the spell casting, but also it reinforces um, an understanding of another feature of the wheel, which is their cooldowns. Mm -hmm. So as you're casting spells, just to make sure that you're not just kind of like repeatedly using one thing over and over and right, over again, right. you can see legal, it's legal. that he's using uh, on the wheel. And then as you progress through the game, there are different things that can affect things like cooldowns through your talents, uh, different things that okay. allow you to kind of like okay. juggle and adjust and, and update wow. those things. And so if you hold down R R2 and you tap the D-pad, it will switch between your other diamonds if you've unlocked them. And, and that's how you access all those. Oh, man. It looks like you're about to get some action over here. Yeah. So this is, this is a great way to kind of learn how to... Oh, esse combo, ele usa a primeira magia do triângulo ali. Aí ele dá três hits e usa a, ma a magia do X. Yeah. É Leviosa. 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 Tap, tap, tap. Awesome. <risos> Caraca, esse combão! Outra, oh, tá... caraca! Tá parecendo interessante o combate, hein? Não tá? E eu vou te falar, quem me acompanha, quem não viu o último vídeo sabe, eu estava totalmente cético com relação ao combate. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of Crossed Ones all set? Why, yes, it is. I've got a great match lined up. Caralho, esse moleque aí que é o, é o... PS5 dev kit. A Jota das Luta. Kind of pause I'm the ready. pause <laughs> yeah. the action yeah. Yeah. and talk about what you're seeing on the screen because uh, there is about to be a lot going on. Okay, okay. A gente pode desafiar as pessoas, é. A Natsayona e o Salo. O Sebastian é um dos dos principais, né? somebody else, some of your classmates, yeah. but in this case, we're not, we want, we want that action to feel a little more frantic towards you to really get you that sense of, of, uh, of combat. So apparently you've, uh, got quite the reputation because they've got you up against yeah. three people. Three, yeah. Caraca! Off the jump. <laughs> um, so I can, I can explain this, uh, just because I know people are going to go into it, but we can probably just kind of jump in. Um, so, uh, you're not the only one that has Protego and the ability to deflect, the enemies do too. And we actually play with that when it comes to the spell casting. So you notice that there are different colored kind of shields yeah. around the different characters. Caraca, olha isso, a surra que ele deu no, no, no moleque. So to help players understand kind of like the function of their spells, we're yeah. trying to put them into brackets. So there are damage spells, there are force spells, there are, um, I'm forgetting the other one, all of a sudden, control spells. Mm -hmm. And so those things for the player, yeah. they wind up also being a color indicator for which which actual spell to use to break Ui. the different shields that uh, enemies can use. That's that awesome. way it rewards that, like, that close right. attention right. that you're paying, paying we've, on things. We've got this paused here now, and you can kind of see all the elements on the screen, the, the halo around the avatar's head, yeah. each of the different shields, uh, to kind of give us, a, give us a breakdown of what's going on. Ah, tá, legal, legal. Ó, oh, a marca de bloqueio na cabeça. We're kind of like calling out which enemy you currently have targeted and yeah. their level and health. And so, you know, as you target different characters, you'll be able to get that breakdown. Yeah. The, uh, the halo over your head, whenever an enemy is about to an attack, it's, it's almost like you have a little bit of a sixth sense for those things that are coming. Beleza. If Clássico halo, também, né? It means there's an incoming attack. And if you tap the triangle button by default, mm -hmm. then that you will be able to deflect that attack that comes in oh. and off with yeah. protect. And okay. I love that yeah. deflect where it goes off and, and like hits things yeah. up yeah. and kind of breaks things off walls too. <laughs> Puta, que da hora. Isso é legal mesmo. Rebateu o ventre se ele quebrar as coisas. It also deflects and turns around with a counter attack stupefy that actually stuns the enemy. And you can use that even in your combos and stuff. So yeah. if you're focused on a character, you know, and you're you're doing your thing yeah. and someone else no, is like the order. that attack into a direct attack on the person that you're comboing back into into gameplay here andrew's gonna pretty pretty handily finish these these other students off here Love you. Do oh, how fast it is nossa cachada na boca velho ó bebeu o potezinha we really felt like in the movies there's almost like a uh, it's kind of like a there, there's this element of kind of like fencing from a very great yeah, distance that's and, a good call. and there are a lot of uh, a lot of things that we had to do with with our controls and combat system in order to kind of capture ah. the, <laughs> the yes. well, perhaps you should try that next time the other duelists have already taken notice of you 
But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. Or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. Pô, que irado, mano. Ai, eu tava muito preocupado com o combate, velho. Isso me trouxe uma paz de espírito, velho. Porque parece que tá legal, mano. Parece que tá legal. Só tomar um treino repetitivo. Ele vai voar um pouquinho. Ele vai voar um pouquinho. Então, so leaving the castle. Nossa, olha que da hora, mano. Deve ter sido alguma reclamação na gringa, né? To show you, like, from Hogwarts to the world beyond Hogwarts. And oh, man. Caralho. Not somewhere where we're going today, but uh, we'll, we will definitely be taking you in the future. Oh, my God. A little glimpse at the, the scale of the castle back there. <sighs> uh, so we're going to wrap things up here, but uh, I, I, I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, everything that you've seen. But I think, James, you may have a few other questions here at the end of things. So yeah. while we're done with uh, what we're showing on the gameplay <laughs> side, uh, I know there's a few things that you want to pick Alan and Boston's brains about. I would <laughs> love that because there's a lot. <laughs> we... All right. So um, some of these questions we did pull from the community. Uh, secretly, but I did pull for the community. So, uh, and, and also from, I mean, going through this, I feel like they're, of, they're, yeah, you've come up with some things. Deixa eu ver se agora. Acho que agora é só, é só perguntas e respostas. É, ah, mas tem mais uma ceninha final aqui, então a gente vai pular. Caso você queira ver as perguntas e respostas, aí vai lá ver o vídeo. Senão o meu vídeo vai ficar muito longo. Foi 35 minutos de gameplay, <risos> o que tá ótimo. Mas tem mais uma ceninha aí no final pra gente fechar com chave de ouro. Vamos ver qual é que é. Praticamente quem te viu hoje, né? Ah! <risos> Caraca, isso vai ser bom demais, mano. É, isso aí. Olha, isso aí vai ser legal demais. Porra, velho. Ai, 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 ai. Está chegando a hora. Hogwarts já vem chegando, meu bem. Nós vamos jogar várias horas. Eita, nós! Senhoras e senhores, gostou? Deixa o seu like, se inscreve para mais conteúdo. Deixa nos comentários do que você achou. Eles mostraram tudo, mano, é meia hora de gameplay, mas lentinha, né? Eles foram mostrando tudo de pouquinho em pouquinho. Eu fiquei bem feliz, porque foi muita coisa que eu gostaria de ver foi mostrada. Uh, mas realmente eles focaram em detalhe, ambientação, riqueza, né? Mas o negócio aí, claramente, principalmente pelo que eles falaram, o jogo é focado numa missão e numa história principal. É isso que a gente vai ver, história e missão, história e missão, história e missão. Só que a gente vai ter toda a riqueza da ambientação, de Hogwarts, com missões secundárias e tudo mais, né? Me empolga, me empolga, quero ver mais. E é, eu acredito que vocês também. Então, vamos esperar. Sempre que tiver alguma coisinha, eu trago mais aqui. Fechou? Obrigado pelo carinho, obrigado pela atenção. Se você não assistiu o Patflix de God of War, foi bem legal. Então assiste aí, a gente já zerou. É, enfim, é isso. Tamo junto, um beijo pra vocês. Até a próxima, é nóis. E tchau.